All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to go over some of the best finds from 2020. Um, I didn't get out nearly as much as I had hoped this year, but we got out a bit and I did find some really good stuff. Um, I wish I could have got out more. I wish I would have got on some better sites, but we did get on some really good sites and we found some good stuff. So let's go over it. And here we are. We got some pretty cool bottles this year in beautiful colors. We got some of the actual pink ones. That's a beauty. Not necessarily ancient, but pretty cool. We got a complete hutch. Ocala Bottling Works, Ocala, Florida. I actually got two hutches. Um, the other hutch I have somewhere around here. But it was a very, very, very cool one um, from Denellen, Florida. I'll have to try to find that and show you. Forgot to get that one out. Here's that other soda bottle I said I'd show you. Denellen Bottling Company, Denellen, Florida. This bottle not to be sold. It's kind of hard to read, but. Beauty. Got some beautiful ink wells. I got like five different colors, or maybe three different colors. Brown, clear, blue, and maybe another one. I got another poison bottle this year. That's cool. Sharpened Dome, Baltimore. Got the cork in that. And the Pabst a beer bottle. The first beer bottle. We only got two sheds this year. One was a very fresh one found back in March before the pandemic. And another one was definitely one from a year or two before. And I found a Dr. Scholl's. This is actually one I found a while ago, but I can't find the second one that I found. But it's actually an insert from 1905 to... I can't read the date on that exactly, but I think it's 1908. So this is like what you have in the inside of your shoe from Dr. Scholl's. Before World War One, Dr. Scholl's footies. Now they got beautiful, cushy mesh. Back then they had copper. So, yeah, I feel bad for those people that had to use this to heal, ease their foot pain. Oh, uh, we got quite a bit of lantern parts. That one's 1860s, about Civil War era. This is 1870s bunch of cool copper bits and beautiful little pieces uh, oh I did get a flying eagle this year 1850 can't remember the year 1858 I think or 59 flying eagle bucket luster we did pretty good with early I want to say early American stuff, at least for here. Beautiful pewter button. We got an amazing CSN, Confederate States Navy button. That thing's worth a lot of money. Some other military buttons that I can't quite read. Um, a Seminole War site. We got on Seminole War site with some Seminole War buttons. Bob got quite a few. Tons of 69 caliber and 58 caliber musket balls. Um, got on a site with some Civil War bullets. A couple of them. Um, some beautiful suspender pieces and locks. The horseshoe is a part of that site. I only got one gold ring this year, 14 carat. A couple skeleton keys. One of my best finds was a trigger guard off of a brown best musket from a Seminole War soldier. Actually the Seminole War Indian soldier. And we got three different pieces to that up in an old plow field. I think the little Mickey Mouse ring was from last year. And this 
a copper rolled uh, spear point from a Seminole War warrior. That is absolutely awesome. Rolled copper. They probably would have put this on one of those little balls that they had. They had the hammer with a ball on top so they could jam it into people's heads and kill them. Or it could have been on a spear. Um, I'm pretty sure that's too large to be a arrowhead. Copper rolled arrowhead. Couple other nice coins. 1865s and full stencils and some other bits and bobs. Um, but yeah, that's a little overview of some of my best finds. Definitely being the Confederate State Navy, the uh, trigger guard, and um, yeah, some of the other buttons and stuff. We don't find the pewter buttons that often, and this is an amazing piece of history. Absolutely amazing to find rolled copper spear point along with all these um, bullets and Bob got more buttons than I did. I only had gotten one military button from that site, but it's pretty wiped. Only got a little bit of guilt left, and the Confederate State Navy button doesn't have any more guilt left. But yeah, I'll try to show you some pictures of some of Bob's best finds if I have any. And yes, absolutely awesome. Bob got large scent, he actually got two of them a half scent and a large scent awesome year um, for the amount of times we got to go out so we found some good stuff and I hope you all enjoyed this year hopefully next year's better um, and hopefully everything gets back to normal and we don't have to worry as much and everybody's safe and happy and healthy here's to 2021